just save your file. Now we have written our code, but we can see this error which says go.mod file not found in current directory or any parent directory, right? So to solve this problem, what we need to do? So right now we are in our golang folder and I need to go inside the hello folder first, inside my project folder. So I'm going to just write cd and then just type hello. And once I'm in my hello folder here, I just need to initialize the mod or module for the go. So I'm going to just write go mod and then in it and then space the name of the module. I'm going to name it as hello here and then press enter. And what this command does is it's cre it creates this go.mod file and it says module hello and the version of uh, uh, go is 1.21.3, right? So once this go.mod file is created, you can see all the errors are gone right now and we can now uh, run our project, okay? So once that's done, we can either click on this run button or we can run our code using the commands also. So let me show you first how you can run this program using this run code button. So I'm going to just click on run code button and it's going to run this file and hopefully it prints hello from go here, which is what we wanted, right? So this was the first way of running your program inside Visual Studio Code, right? So we have added the extension and then we have initialized our module using command line and then we ran our uh, uh, Go file or program using this button. But how you can uh, run your code using the command line? So for that, you just need to go to terminal and go to the directory. So I'm in my Golang directory right now. So I'm going to cd into the hello directory. And once I'm in my hello directory, I can simply run my uh, code by giving this command, which is go run and the name of my file, which is main.go, okay? So inside my hello directory, I have this main.go. So I'm going to just go inside the directory and run go run main.go where my main function is there. And when I uh, run this command, it gives me the output hello from go, which is this one, right? Now, one more simple way of running your go code is just go to the directory and then just write go run space dot. That means I want to run my uh, code in the directory and go is going to find the main function in that directory, right? And it's going to execute it and it's going to give you the output. I'm going to just uh, press enter and it's also going to uh, give you, give us the same result, which is hello from Go. Just wait for a few seconds. And it gives us the same result. Now the third option is to create a binary. Right now we are running our code directly using the go run command, but it's not creating any binary here. And in Go, we can create the binary, which is more faster right so to build the binary we can just write go build and then space dot and what it's going to do is it's going to create a binary with the same name as your parent folder name which is hello in my case so you can see it has created hello.exe file and now i can run this exe file by using dot forward slash and the name of the exe file which is hello.exe in my case and then press enter and it's going to give me the same output which is hello from go.